Tracy. I'm Andy. I'm Corey. He's Corey. And so yep. much happened last night on the Women's Tell All. It did. So much. I, like, it was I just, crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was but crazy. you know why you're already yeah, here and we're not introducing you? Yeah, why? Because we don't need you anymore. We do. We have a very special because recap guest. The most exciting guest. Please welcome. I'm very excited. Mr. Very Carolina special guest. Hey. 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 Welcome. Oh, my for being here. Of oh, course, I'm so excited. <gasps> Welcome to the Cube. Have a Have seat. In the Cube. Get comfy. Wow. Welcome to the Cube. Thank you. This has been like a very emotional journey for me watching you. A yeah. whirlwind. Because yeah. you've had an emotional journey. Yes. Okay, so you had like a hard exit, and, and I we've said in this in this cubicle that we have really enjoyed watching Colton throughout this because we didn't know what to expect from him, but we thought he did a really good job, at least in my opinion, until it came to you. his breakup with you. <laughs> in that moment, I was like, I remember like getting in the car, I was like, that was so cold. Like I've never felt Colton be so cold before. Yeah. It sucked. Do you feel now, I mean, because on, on Women Tell All, it doesn't feel like you really got much more closure from that. So has watch, watching it back given you the closure that he wasn't able to verbally say to you? Yeah, I think going to Women Tell All, um, being able to see it on the screen, see him, like that brought back so many emotions. And then asking him, I was like, hey, I need something. I need like right. verbalize this. Yeah. And he kind of just sat Give me there. some closure and he didn't. <laughs> Colton was here because he was our masked dancer yes. on the show, on Ellen. And so I went in to say hi to him because he's our buddy. Mm -hmm. And I just Classic said, and I literally said to him, you went and said hi to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I showed up in the hallway. I was like, I'm going to call him. He's like, nice work. We all gave him a high five. Yeah. Okay, job. but I went in and I said to him, I go, I'm mad at you because I, and I literally said, I've loved everything that you, the way you handled everything. And I hated Except. the way you handled Kaylin. And he goes, I know. And I go, why didn't you say anything? And he's like, I didn't know what to say. And I still don't know what, it, what to say. I mean, part of me understands that a little bit, to a certain extent, because he just really cares about you yeah, the so final much. Four. That, the final four. That sometimes you just don't know how to explain it. Sometimes it's just not yeah. right. Yeah. So how do you feel now watching some of the other ladies and like, their connections? Like, do you understand it? Yeah. yeah. Do you get yeah. it? Do you see it? I, or not really? I do. It makes sense, like watching it back and seeing like yeah. him connect with other women. And I know now that like I didn't have the strongest connection, yeah. but I still did have a strong connection. Yeah. Do you think that he was a good bachelor compared to some of the other bachelors? I think Ben Higgins, we can all agree, is like one of the best bachelors. Yeah. And Sean Lowe. Oh, yeah. Sean and yeah. Ben yeah. are like two of the best. And I, I think Colton really is kind of up there with them. Like honestly, yeah. and I had very low expectations coming into it. I was like, not excited when they announced him. Really? And I told him this. Neither I told wait. him this. But we know him now. We know him the same way. This is good. This is good. Why are you not excited? I Just, wanted Blake or Jason. <gasps> oh my gosh! I told him this. This is on awesome. The season, though. <laughs> but clearly, if you felt that way going into it, then he must have really won you over because by the end, you you were in Smitten. love with him. Yeah, I was right? absolutely in love, smitten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Have you had time to move on? Like, do you or do you feel like you oh, can watch it? Oh, she's dating someone else now. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I've been in a six month relationship. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, that doesn't we work. all stop. Yeah, you guys. So this is the moment where oh, um, our host calls us away, yeah. and I disappear for a second. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, bye. We'll, see you we'll save your seat, Corey. Oh, Corey had an emergency, a show emergency. Yes. Aww. So you and Cassie became really, really close friends. Yeah. And we saw that kind of through the episode. And at the final four, mm -hmm. when you didn't get the rose, you said, I love you. What, <gasps> else did, what else did you say? You said something else. I said, I love you. Bye, friend. Go get engaged. What did they bleep out then? I you said something else. Oh, oh. I said, this is bullshit. Oh. Okay, yes. <laughs> I knew there was something else. Put a rose over her mouth. <laughs> Okay, well, let's talk. So, one of the main pieces of drama that you were involved in, you kind of had like a twofold. You had the Hannah B. But situation. But I feel it was indirectly, so. Well, let's talk about Hannah okay. B. real quick first. People are waiting for this like big secret to come out, like, Kaylin did this or Hannah did this, and there's nothing. It was just like little events that yeah. led up to us. I totally get that though, because I feel yeah. like, look, we're like, there's so many different types of people in the world, like, we're not all gonna get along. It was right. a bummer that it kind of had to play out that way. Okay. Now, so that, getting on. That drama <laughs> aside, Katie said. On the way out. Well, said to Colton, just make sure that everybody's here for the right reasons and is willing to get engaged or whatever, blah, 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 like a million of them said it. And that started his head spinning. Yeah, so yes. fine. Because Pulse. even on Women Tell All, I feel like it didn't really get cleaned up, so right. I want you to have a chance to take the cube floor. Thank Use you. the cube as your platform. And tell us <laughs> what really happened. Okay. What did you say? We Let's were on a bus. You're on a bus. <gasps> Cassie and I it were on a bus. It always happens on a bus. You're the driver, pretend you're driving. <laughs> You're the driver, you're on the left side. Cassie and I are in the front seat. Okay. Why am I driving? <laughs> it's the two of us. Yeah, uh, Katie's directly behind us, kind of peeping in here and there just to like say, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Cassie. Yeah, I was going to say, how long do I have to do that? All right, go ahead. And at this point, Cassie and I knew we were invested. We're like, we know we have strong connections and like, we wanted to protect our friendship above all. And I was like, Cassie, if it's me at the end of this, I want you to be the bachelorette. And she said the same. So it was just like, that's, that's it. I wasn't saying, you know, 
I want to be the bachelorette. Like I'm only here to be the bachelorette. This is what that, we said. This yeah. is what you had I know, said. That's what I said. Of course, Tracy gets credit for that. What's happened? Yeah. Even if you had been like, I'm only here to be the bachelorette. Who in our right mind would say that with anybody else around? Right. Nobody well, wanted a bus full of women. Well, that was that's <laughs> like, the that's, thing. You weren't trying to hide this conversation. Yeah. Right. I think the word bachelorette like triggered in it's her like ears, a, yeah. and she was like, Oh, Ooh, she's here for the wrong reasons. Yes. Yeah. Now here's what's interesting though. Now well, another thing that was said is that you weren't ready. To, that you two were also both not ready to get engaged. Mm -hmm. Was that somewhere in this conversation? There were several things, like part, like clubs and parties, and I was like, where are you guys pulling this from? And then at Women Tell All, Dean got brought up, and once upon a time, I slid into Dean's DMs. Yeah, yeah. same, first of all. <laughs> yes. Like, duh. But uh, you guys, the most interesting thing is that it turns out that Cassie, at least it seems at this point, was actually, in fact, not ready to get engaged, right? Ooh. So with Cassie and I, the reason we were so close, like the closest friendship in the house was because we separated Colton and our friendship. We never talked about Colton, like ever. Oh, wow. And so, but she did hint to me sometimes. She was like, I think your relationship's stronger. Like, I think it could be you. And especially when I got a rose after my one-on-one, -on -one, she was like, you know, what if I go home? But I know that she had such strong feelings and that's why it was so hard for us. Because you can have strong feelings and not be ready to be Yeah, engaged. I was gonna say, I guess it's not fair to say because also like, at what point do you become engaged? Like, ready to be engaged? Like, maybe she thought she was on that path. Yeah. Cassie was realistic in this process too. Like, we were both very realistic. And she was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I've known you for a month and a half. And I think, him, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like, we, we haven't been able to Her dad also had a lot to do with it, I feel like. Yeah, her right? dad had a, had a big influence in it, too. You got your heart broken. You checked off all the things. We kind of fell in love with who you are. We are invested now. We are invested in you. Oh. So, <laughs> that word that was such a stigma on the show, Get Bachelorette, mm. does if... that seem like a possibility for you? No. Oh! oh wow! <laughs> oh, my God, I did, don't like, think about it. Drawn up set. I know, I was going to tell you to jump to the... Get, get well, I wasn't it. expecting a just flat no. no. She says no. I struggled so much. Okay. Like, it's a lot. Like so much. It's a lot. Yeah. I just, I don't think it's for me. Like honestly. What about paradise? Maybe. It's oh, like, it's okay. Okay. Time. okay. Same time. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay. So then if not you, who do you think should be the bachelorette? Or could be? Well, so Hannah G. You didn't get to see a ton of her this season, but yes, she's I know. hilarious. Yeah. She, she seems like pick. she's pretty no, funny. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but also, yes, there was animosity between me and Hannah B. But that would be really? interesting. She, Either Hannah, you're saying. That would be yeah. interesting. She'd be, she'd be, she'd be yeah. something funny to watch, that's for It would sure. be a funny season. Okay, and then last question, do you think Colton is still a virgin? Ooh, Ooh. great question. Do you? What does your BFF <laughs> Cassie have to say, Cassie? Keep He's going. He's very happy. He's very uh, happy. He does no, say that. He but, says it time and time again. Says. Does that mean? Because he's not a person, does that happy? mean he's just happy in a relationship? How exactly. happy is he? I don't know. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> a big thanks to Kaylin and Noah for joining us and today. And be sure to tune in to our Bachelor 2 Night finale next Tuesday. <gasps> Monday oh and gosh. Tuesday, sorry. And comment below to tell us how you think this season is going to end. Can I tell you, you're so and much I nicer I drive off on a bike now with a check. Oh, wait. Corey always <laughs> Thank what? you, Kaylin. Nice to see you. Corey always disagrees with me, and you agree with me on so many things. Oh, we good. We should be friends forever. Do you I'm, want some wine?